Okay, we're back on camera here. Uh, let me show you. Let's do this red cap test. Um, and I, I have here a, a top of a, 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 the the uh, red cap. We want to know if there's a difference between the 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 redness of the the cap with one eye versus the other eye. Mm. So we're going to use your right eye here. Can you find the cap? Can you see where it is? John, can you find yeah. the cap? Can you look at it? Yeah, it's just kind of hard to see if it's not like straight in front of me. Okay. Let's put it straight in front of you. See the, the cap right there. Now compare that to your left eye. Can you find it with your left eye? Yeah. Okay. Is there a difference in the, in the brightness or the color? It's not, not, not as dark in the left. Not as, it's, it's a little brighter in the left? Yeah. Okay. What color does it look to you? It's like almost completely black, black. Completely black? Yeah. Okay. That's an unusual condition to notice protonomaly protons do not perceive color at all in the red range. Okay, so okay. that's what we're looking for. Okay, that would explain what's happening here. And that would happen with a right brain injury. Uh, okay. What side of the brain was injured to? Right. Um, let's use, uh, I, I had the, uh, here they are. What do you see? We're going to show him this card. What do you see on that card? There's like a little square in the middle, I think. Where? Point to it. Okay. What else do you see? Describe the card. Mm. Mm, it's just like a like a little black square box. Where? Mm -hmm. A little black square box right here. Yeah. Okay. What color is it? Black. What's that? Black. But the card's black. How could you have black on black? <laughs> I don't. I don't. Know. <laughs> it was just what, what it's telling me it's black. Black. Okay. Do you see anything else? Do you see any squares mm. or triangles? Mm. Rainbows? Not, not really. Not really? Pizzas? Yeah. <laughs> what color is pizza when you eat it? <laughs> mm. Hmm? So, you know, it's like a grayish black. Pizza is a grayish black. Why do you eat anything that looks that terrible? <laughs> <laughs> Stumped. <laughs> ah, I got it there. Maybe it's the smell. <laughs> yeah. Of course, the taste helps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me put it this way: Does pizza always look grayish black to you? Yeah, pretty, pretty much, yeah. Even before the accident? No, no, not before. <laughs> <laughs> what color was the pizza before your accident? Yeah, it was like... Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's called like, no, yeah. you can't get the words out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I just can't get it out. Okay. I'm not going to help you. <laughs> I'm not going to help you. Okay. Um, let's have you take a look here. We're going to change this chair. Let me get this closer, a little closer to the camera, so that so that we can see that the the, the color of the chart and the uh, uh, and the, the the spots that were were here that were not caught. And we're going to go to a black and white. Black and white card for you, dude. Yeah, okay. 
Here's one. Here's uh, it has the fine grid in the middle. And then, tell me what you see here, please. Checkerboard, I guess. A checkerboard. Excellent. Okay, what color does it appear to be? Like, what? Like a, it's like a little black tiles. Little black tiles? Yeah. It's separated by what? It's like little cracks, I guess. Little cracks. What color are the cracks? So, you know, like... Like a blackish gray. A blackish gray? Yeah. Would you say, is there a difference, looking at this chart, is there a difference between the way those look? Do you see a shape out here where I'm pointing? Mm. Kind, of, kind of hard to tell. Why is it hard to tell? Because it's all fuzzy. Interesting, I had a, a pro ten draw a picture one time of a letter, and she drew it fuzzy. Then we put a colored contact lens on her, a red contact lens, and she drew it accurately oh. after that. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Oh, he'd like that, red contact lenses. Mm -hmm. No, you just use one it's, red contact lens. Ah, just yeah. one. Oh, it, well, then mm -hmm. it'd really go for him. Well, I got the pirate skull and crossbones yeah. on <laughs> You are weird. I like that. Yeah. But is there a difference in the color between this grid, that great, or would it be a checkerboard, you called it? Uh, grid 259? Hmm? Grid 259? We don't have time for that. <laughs> is there a difference in the color of that grid and, and grading there and this color here? Just like a... a a gray fuzzball? A gray fuzzball yeah, right there uh, for, for that one. So that's what part of our difficulty here is, is. It appears that we have a, a, a good degree of uh, protonomaly, and that is that he's not actually even responding to the color. Uh, and um, uh, Oliver Sacks writes about an artist uh, who got was in a car wreck and got hit the side of his head. The left side of the head, the damage is all on the right side because of what they call contra coup damage. And his color, his painting went from color to black and white. Wow. You couldn't see color anymore. Uh, it's the book, that book is called An Anthropologist on Mars, I believe. Mm -hmm. He already wrote that book. It would be a good book to consider. Call him. And Oliver Sacks has begun calling these right brain mm -hmm. injured patients mm -hmm. Martians. Mm -hmm. so, it's interesting. Okay. You always yeah. felt like you were from a different <laughs> planet, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, now here's what I'm going to ask you. We're going to go back to this card the way it's supposed to be used. Now I want you to look at the dot in the middle. Okay, you're looking at the dot in the middle. Okay, are there lines crooked, missing? Are there empty spaces in the gray? Draw with your finger how, how much you can see. The limits uh, of what you see. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, it's sort of like just like a little dot in yeah, a diamond? Yeah, like from uh, Lucky Charms. Like a luck, like a charm, Lucky Charms? Yeah, yeah, like the little diamond yeah. shapes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, how far out does it go? Can you see beyond uh, that? Or, or, or is it, what's beyond that? While well, you're looking at the middle, look at the dot in the middle. Okay, mm. how about here with the left eye? Is that any better? Is it the same or is it worse? Uh, uh, a little better. A little better? Do you still see the diamond? Yeah. What else do you see? Anything? How far out does it go? Not, not, not real far, maybe. Maybe like up to right here, maybe. Okay. So he was seeing a, a, a diamond. He drew it. It was actually no more than uh, three. Uh, grids above and below and two grids to the side uh, of the dot in the center. Okay, and now you're, you're, you're indicating you can see more? 
Okay. Now, <clears throat> have you seen this chart before? I don't think so. Um, as, I, 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 I'm approaching him like he was a novice, like he hadn't seen it before to see what his responses are. And uh, his responses are remarkably consistent from one eye to the other. And with this, the history that he's reported, interestingly enough. Um, okay. Let's see how you do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this on camera. Okay. And um, I, I appreciate your putting up with the light sensitivity mm -hmm. here. Uh, with your light sensitivity. I want you to hold this cover on your on your eye right mm -hmm. there like that. I'm going to see here in front of you. <coughs> okay. And I want you to look look at my face, please. Look at mm -hmm. me right in the look at in, in my left eye here. Okay. Okay. Can you see my finger wiggling out here? Uh, not really. E yeah. Okay. Coming across? E yeah. And here? Yeah. Okay. Coming down? E yeah. Okay. We've got about a 5 to 10 degree, at max, I'd say 5 to 7 degree visual field here on, on here with a concentric thing. Um, let's switch. Okay. I want you to look in, in my eye, my left eye, bring your head down a little like that. Okay, and tell me as soon as you see my finger wiggling coming in. No. Okay, again, coming up. No. Okay, coming down. No. Coming over. No. Okay, we've got, we've got a, a tubular field here running, oh, probably about 25 degrees, give or take five. Uh, and uh, no more than a, a five degree field here. Um, let me try something else. Okay. Put these glasses on, John. Okay. I want you to cover the left eye, okay. the right eye again. Okay. okay. And uh, I want you to look at my um, eye, my right eye here. Would you tell me you see my finger coming across? No. Like coming up? No. And coming across? No. Coming down? No. Okay, switch. Okay, make sure you get that inside corner cover. Bring your head down just a skosh. Okay. Tell me to see my finger. Tell me to see my, my finger coming across. No. Okay, coming up. No. Coming down. No. And coming across. No. Okay, again. No. switch one more time. Okay. That right eye visual field has improved outside here, okay, above, below, and to the side by about to the five degrees with that with those lenses on. Whatever they are. Okay, once you look in my eye here again, come across. No. And coming up. No. Coming down. No. Coming across. No. The camera's going to show it. You did it twice in, in a row consistently, oh, okay. but uh, your visual field on your left eye got worse. But it seemed the right one got a little better. The right one got better. Go figure. Martian. <laughs> You're a Martian, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Sachs would have a field day with you. Then you feel like going up to New York? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs>